So what I'd like to do now is show you how we just set that up, that when someone rings your doorbell, you can have the lights turn on or, or really any other automation through your smart home based on one action, it can trigger another action. So we use a hub called the Samsung Smart Things Hub, which allows you to connect a number of different smart home devices into one hub and have them work together. There are some competitors to SmartThings Hub, but overall, this is a good device for that. Uh, there are some limitations, which we'll discuss in, in another video, uh, but some of the cool fe the features of this are setting up automation and have things trigger, have one thing trigger another, have things work together in a sequence of automation. So let me show you how this works. So the first thing you see here is this is, a, a, this is our tablet with the Samsung SmartThings app open. And on the very bottom, you see where it says my home. This is a list of all the devices in our home, mostly lights. Some you see our thermostats. This is the front porch. This is our doorbell. You see it's a whole list and at the very bottom, you can click add and you can add more things to it. Uh, scrolling down, let's go back, sorry. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, uh, next to my home is a button that says automation. Now here, I only have a few set up. Uh, some of these actually came with the app by default. You know, if you wake up every morning, you want to click the good morning button, it can turn on lights, maybe change your temperature of the house, uh, unlock the alarm, do all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, I personally like the goodbye feature. If you're going away for a couple of days, you can click that and set your house for away mode. And then below that is an automation that I created for our front doorbell, the ring doorbell porch light. If I want to edit this, I can click the gear icon. I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to walk you through this if I was doing this from scratch. I'm going to click add a routine. And the first thing it asks me is to give it a name. So I'll give it a slightly different, I'll just call this doorbell light. And then I'll click next in the top right corner. And now it asks me, what do you want to happen? Do you want the lights to go on or off? Do you want to set the thermostat to a different temperature? Do I want to change the mode to like a home or away mode? Do I want to do this automatically? Maybe there's a, a certain time or, or automation that I can add to this and I can rename it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the first option to turn on a light. I'm going to click turn on the porch and I'll say I have a light outside my mudroom as well. So I'm going to click both of those. They should both go on. In the left, you'll see the lights that are in blue are actually currently on right now. So the checked ones are going to go on during this automation. Click done. Now you see those two are listed here. If I want to, I can have certain lights turn off as well. I'm going to ignore that. I can set a dimmer. So maybe I only want those lights to go on maybe 50%. I can have it change my thermostat. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Um, and I'm not gonna change the mode as well. The automation though, is where I need to set that when someone actually clicks the doorbell. We haven't done that yet. All we did so far was choose what we want to happen. We haven't set the trigger yet. So if you click on automatically, perhaps the most common automation is usually if someone arrives or leaves the house or at a certain time, maybe at sunrise or sunset, you want certain lights to go on or off. Um, in this case, I'm gonna go down a little further and click if a button is pushed or held. And in this example, I only have one button. I'm gonna click which button. I only have one to choose from, which is my front door. Click the, button, click the little dot, it chooses it. I could also set this to only happen on certain days of the week. Maybe I, for some reason, I only want this to happen on Mondays. I could do that and click done. So what's gonna happen is, is that right now, just to sum this screen up, which button, it's the front door, and when it's gonna happen is Monday, is click done again. Takes me back to my automation screen. You can combine automation. So for example, if I wanted to have this at a certain time of day when the button is pushed, or if things quiet down, because you have motion sensors and they're not detecting any action, and then someone rings the bell, right? You can combine these. We'll keep it simple for now and just do, if the button is pushed, then let's click done and it'll go back to the previous screen. These lights are gonna go on and here we are, it's set it up. Uh, if I scroll to the top, here is our automation, doorbell light. I can click the gear icon again 
and it'll sum up what's happening. So it's going to turn on my porch light and my mudroom outside light, set it to 50% when the button is pushed. So that is the walkthrough of how do you set up an automation. In this example, particularly how you can set it that when someone rings your doorbell, the front porch light will also go on so that they're not standing out there in the dark. Um, interestingly, you actually could also perhaps set it that this only should happen after sunset. If you, want, if you don't want it to happen during the day, you can do that as well. Hope this helps. For more information, visit smarthouse.guru or subscribe to our videos for more.